Welcome to Chapter and Verse, a chapter-by-chapter -chapter reflection on the Book of Mormon through poetry as a way to strengthen your personal and family gospel study with a focus on the Come, Follow Me curriculum. One chapter, one verse. My name is Michael D. Young, and today we have a text based on 3 Nephi 14. The focus verses for this text are 3 Nephi 14, 3 through 5. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite! First cast the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast the mote out of thy brother's eye. And now the text, the mote and the beam. It's easy to magnify the moat that we see in our neighbor's eye. How easy it's then to laugh and gloat. I'm so glad that it is not I. But often our vision is impaired by a lengthy and stubborn beam, a state of things that must be repaired so that things in perspective seem. It's easy to look about for sin in order to take it away, much harder to take a look within, and so these sins much longer stay. Much better it is to be the change you wish in the world to see, for you have the power to arrange what kind of person you'll be. Thank you for listening. If you like what you hear, please share. 